The Japanese artist Hokusai lived his entire life from 1760 to 1849 in the vicinity of the Sumida River in Tokyo. In 2009, the local Sumida Ward announced an open competition for a museum celebrating the life and work of Hokusai. There it is. In 2016, Pritzker Prize winners, the Japanese architect duo Sana, completed the project. The building is a metal clad cube from which triangular wedges have been removed. The leftover spaces from these cuts bring natural light into the interiors. The building is set in front of one of those typical awkward Japanese parks. All care has been given to make it as unattractive as possible to the homeless and as such to anyone else. But let's go inside. The security guard shows us how to enter the building and then more people help us to lead the way to the reception. The reception desk, the umbrella stands, signage boards all seem to be an afterthought in the design. Luckily, there is a toilet next to the reception desk. We wait for the lifts to take us to the exhibition halls, which are located on the fourth floor. The rooms are square, dull boxes. There is an observation lounge with a view of the Tokyo Sky Tree, and we can see the dull park again below. A staircase takes us to another exhibition hall on the third floor. Before we know it, we're back on the ground floor, as we exit through the gift shop. There's an event hall and a library next to the entrance. Although described as a cultural landmark, the building is as alienated from both its program as well as its surroundings as that squid in Hokusai's The Dream of the Fisherman's Wife.